Um, we sat down last like, end of May and decided instead of just let's let's bring all the disciplines into this book, which kind of led itself to it. So you had history in the book because World War II and the crypto cryptographers, and um, you had art being part of the book because there's a lot of patterns in codes and breaking codes. Some of the women were sp spoke different languages, some of them were scientists, um, and obviously computers was brought into it. The Latin teacher talked about just doing research that um, you would have to do to write a book like this. So it really did lend itself to bringing in all the disciplines. And we had Laza Mani come speak last year, and we showed a clip of that on Thursday so that they could revisit that. And for students who weren't there that day or weren't here last year, they could have that experience of a connection with the author of the book. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love connecting in the art classroom to the summer reading book because all of the students have had a shared experience. And there's always something, there are artists that I think of that they can be exposed to and big ideas that are themes within literature or the books that we've read. And we come at it in the art classroom from those big ideas. So for this one, there were things like secrecy and confidentiality and how the women were treated or paid less than their male counterparts. So those were some of the big ideas that we talked about. And then they get a wide range of materials, sort of anything in the classroom they can have at it, they can bring things in, and it is amazing to see all the different things that they make. So every project is different. This one, they I let them work in groups or pairs if they wanted to. Some worked individually. They're two-dimensional and three-dimensional, and they took things apart and put things back together. and. So the differences, the different things that they come up with, I think, are, are always surprising to me. But what I did was the watercolor on the sides represents the different colors for the machines, like the purple machine, the Enigma machine, and then the text in the back of the book, I like stamped through, and it's actual code from the book that I took out of it. And then I took some keys off of a keyboard and with them on to represent like the different really um, the keyboard as they used it and then I glued some wires in to resemble the wires like the outlets that they would use on the ending machine to break the codes. I never really like demolished a book before so I guess I don't know I've seen these done like where people can like they hollow it out and like put stuff in it and then close it but they never really did anything to the cover so I was like what would happen if I cut the cover too and then I did that and I just kind of went from there. So. Um, my activity was that I went out there to find codes that they could break and so that they could get a little bit of an idea of what these women might have had to do and they, uh, I actually gave them something at lunchtime, and was, I started with a very easy cipher for them to decipher, and then once they deciphered that, we gave them one that was a little bit harder, and then we gave them one that was a little bit harder. Um, so they had a little, in, a little introduction to that in their advisory groups on Monday, and then on Thursday, I was the last one to go, and I gave them a much harder cipher. And the interesting thing is, is the way that you saw them all sort of sit down and really start thinking, wait, I want to solve this. And some didn't even solve them in, in the time that they were allotted, but they were sitting with me there for about 20 minutes while everyone else went to lunch because they just wanted to get the answer to the problem. And I, I liked what Amy said about how her art, how they would take things together and put them back together. That's problem solving. That's what we're trying to do. Collaboration, problem solving, that's what we're trying to get these students to do more and more of. So to show them that they can do it in any discipline is, is showing them that it's not just a computer thing, a math thing, it's an art thing, it's a history, it's, it's a language. It, it brings it all together. So that's what was so great about working with this book, I thought.